This is Alex Lawrence Barclay of Sense Media at the inaugural Autosense Conference and Exhibition here at the beautiful Auto World Museum in Brussels. I'm here with Sylvie Gounet of SD Microelectronics. Uh, Sylvie, welcome to Autosense. Thank you. And tell us, what are, you, what are you demonstrating today? What are you showing off? So here we are demonstrating a drastically new concept that we have developed for imagers. Uh, it's a HDR LED flicker-free concept. So that consists in uh, transforming uh, a traditional HDR sensor into to a very robust sensor against lens flicker. So with this new concept, mm -hmm. uh, the new sensor that we are developing will be fully immune against LED flicker. So um, with high dynamic range images, yeah. what, what sort of artifacts and problems does a, a flickering uh, input cause from, from LED lighting? Yeah, with a traditional HDR sensor, because of the two or three exposure times and because of the frequency, uh, the various frequencies of LED lights and the various duty cycles, the traditional HDR sensor may miss the information that the LED is on during the, the time frame. And this is problematic, especially for front-facing application, because a uh, traditional HDR sensor uh, will certainly not detect on the current frame that the traffic light is, is red or that the car is braking. So this can lead the, the camera system to take wrong decision mm -hmm. based on this lack of information. So what makes different in our sensor is that we have a new pixel that is uh, by design fully immune against LED flicker. So it means that the sensor will never miss the information that the LED is switched on, whatever the frequency in the range of 80 Hz up to 2 kHz and whatever the duty cycle of the LED uh, in between 10 and 90 percent. This is a standard cluster of LEDs that you can buy off the shelf as it happens and um, the, the camera that you can see me on is their HDR camera that is flicker free for LEDs and that means that you don't see some of the artifacts that would otherwise be missed by the refresh rate in a typical image sensor. So it's a CMOS image sensor solution which is inherently resistant to being exposed to the flicker. The LEDs which are increasingly prevalent in the traffic environment, you'll find LEDs everywhere from road signs to traffic lights and, and this particular sensor that you're watching me on, although it's not uh, real time on this particular demonstrator, uh, is just resilient against those uh, artifacts caused by flicker. So that means that there's a faster reaction time from the processing unit and that means also that irrespective of the speed of the vehicle you're not missing out on safety critical events that are happening in the real world in front of the camera. So just to demonstrate there's a, a, there's a standard camera chip a non ST micro electronics image sensor in this uh, mobile phone that I've just grabbed from a, a passing delegate and you can see that this uh, LED refresh rate is causing havoc with the amount of data and the type of data and the cleanliness of data going through the image sensor. Obviously you, you're thinking about the speed of the vehicle as well as the processing time as well. So yeah, this is, uh, this is included, let's say, and the concept will be fully uh, robust, whatever, let's say, the light condition, the light frequency. And it's important because we have uh, uh, an increasing amount of LEDs, lights in driving environment. You have uh, LEDs on, uh, on, on, traffic, uh, on traffic signs, uh, you, you have LEDs everywhere in the car. And again, traditional HDR sensor, uh, because of the architecture, will miss uh, sometimes this information. Right, so you're, you're massively increasing the resolution of what can be taken in into the same system, but essentially just by swapping out the sensor. Exactly.